You're watching Cricket World TV. Sri Lanka have made it through to the semi-finals of the Champions Trophy by beating Australia by 20 runs in a highly exciting, highly dramatic game of cricket at the Oval. We've had so much drama today provided a little bit more. Batting first, Sri Lanka posted 253 for eight. There were half centuries for Mahela Javadina. He made 84 not out, perhaps back to his best. Nahara Tiramani made 57 and Tilakarani Dilshan made 34. Mitchell Johnson took three wickets. Incidentally, George Bailey won the toss and decided to bowl because he felt by batting second, Australia would have a better chance of securing their own destiny by knowing exactly what they had to do. Well, what they had to do to win and go through to the semi-finals was get those 254 runs in 29.1 overs, and that was always going to be a very tall order. Credit to them, they gave it a very good go. They did, however, lose wickets. Shea Watson fell early, Philip Hughes fell, Chile Bailey himself was run out when dawdling. It was a really dozy dismissal, I'm afraid, but they, they were still just about in it. Glenn Maxwell hit 32 in 20 balls, Matthew Wade 31 in 23, and James Faulkner 17 in 14. But in the end, in terms of reaching the target to keep them in the tournament, they ran out of time. It looked at that point as if they were going to rather quickly lose the match by, by a big margin. Adam Vogue's top scored with 49. He was the ninth man out. But then Xavier Doherty and Clint McKay, they then put on more than 40 runs with a final wicket, and that made things very exciting. Uh, Sri Lanka's nerves were tested before finally Australia's victory hopes were, were completely ext extinguished until a Karani Dilshaw took a brilliant catch to dismiss Clint McKay of his own bowling. Australia all out for 233, Sri Lanka winning by 20 runs. And a story, I suppose, of what might have been for Australia had a couple more batsmen stayed in to, to, to not leave it to their final pair. But it means Sri Lanka go through to the semi-finals. They will play India in the second of the semi-finals. England go through as group winners. They take on South Africa in the first game. It does mean that New Zealand are out as a result of today's action. So we've got England against South Africa, Sri Lanka against India later on in the final on Sunday. But before the semi-finals, we get a day's break. And I think after the drama, the controversy, everything else that's happened over the last few days, we probably all deserve it. <laughs> 